All right, guys. Uh, said I was gonna try to uh, get some footage out, and I uh, found myself with a little spare time, so I decided to uh, just go ahead and uh, do a video and not worry about the footage. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing some footage, and that's kind of why I'm uh, doing this video. Uh, I still haven't figured out if I'm going to be uh, getting called out of town or not. Uh, so, uh, basically, the uh, point of this video, uh, as I had mentioned in the video I uh, uploaded last, was uh, I encountered a bug and... I was wanting to try to recreate it, uh, and it was on this type of mission. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking for. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen. Uh, but it was this exact uh, mission type, but it was not on this type of map, so uh, we'll see. Uh, either way, not a big deal uh, <laughs> yep so I, I really hope we don't encounter it the most common bug for me uh, is definitely being the uh, the enemies just freezing in place I'm too busy watching my monsters, or not monsters, but uh, my troops there, and uh, not my health. Actually, I'm probably going to, there we go. So I'll go ahead and grab that. So I had debated on doing a video for this game, uh, and possibly doing another one. Because uh, one of the things um, that I played around with uh, was Shadowbringers for Final Fantasy fourteen. I thought about uh, uploading a video there. Uh, the issue I have with that game is I took a very, very long break from it. And I'm pretty terrible at the, at the main character I play on it. So I was uh, debating on starting a new character and just playing uh, from scratch. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Uh, that's just up in the air on that one really. I will be releasing a video on it though. Well, that that went a lot better than I expected. So that's actually good. Now, one of the things uh, I have been debating on with this character is uh, I switched over from doing the uh, dual sword. Which I'll actually go back to the ship here and look. But I had been running the dual sword build. Uh, I had liked to do for a while there, uh, early on, uh, a dual wield and then uh, one of the two-handers. And then I switched to two different types of two-handers. Uh, and just switched between that and then I switched over to the uh, sniper rifle. Uh, but then I was looking through, and I'd mentioned that in a previous video, the different armor types. Uh, I think I'm going to, at some point, play a uh, one of the other types of assassins after I uh, play one of the other Inquisitors. Uh, so I'm probably going to ditch the uh, sniper build. or Well, not necessarily the build, but the... Uh, sniper rifle as a secondary 
and switch back to the dual melee if we can ever find something worthwhile. So it's 69 damage. I think we will hang on to that. Uh, let's see. Here. I, I just don't like... You know, sometimes we get these... But I'm just one of those, I don't like giving up that extra, I don't like giving up that extra stat. And I'm just going to, I'm going to sell them this time. And I'm going to hang on to that one-hander. Yep, yeah, I was thinking about maybe buying. So, we're going to go through this list here. Uh, and just look for one. I mean, I don't really care um, if they're lower level or higher level. Like I said, I've been uh, doing the ones that go for more rep. Or I guess influence in this game. Uh, so, let's just see. We've got a hunt. So we'll just go with this one. Uh, typically, I like to stay right at my level. I don't go too far down. Uh, but this time, uh, <clears throat> if you noticed on the list, there was a lot of zero influence. And there was uh, some uh, at like 95. But I'm going to go for these lower ones because you are looking at uh, 300 and I think I said 95. So I'm going to go ahead and snatch those up while I can. So yeah, I'm going to take a, take a cut on the experience I'll gain, but that's not really a big deal to me. I mean, I've obviously, I'm, I'm playing to have fun. So I'm not in any, I am in a hurry to get to the uh, end game, but I'm not in a major hurry. I do want to uh, enjoy the ride. Uh, after the game, you know, like kind of killed it for me uh, the first time through and I lost the interest and I'm enjoying it this time. Uh, I'm definitely in a hurry, but not in a hurry. So we are simply on this mission type, if you've... Um, are new to it, you're simply tracking down marked targets. Now, this is the... These are the ones that I somehow always mess up on. Or no, maybe it's not this particular one. Yeah, I don't think it's... No, it's the, um, oh, my mind's blank right now, but it's a different one. It's similar to this. It's a marked target quest, but I always mess up on that one. So you have your, um, teleport beacon here. It's going to give us a quick path here. And we're just going to head on up. And you can definitely tell if you paid attention to the last mission. 
Uh, you can definitely tell when you do these lower missions. Um, I could have shown you on the initial mission screen. I don't know why I aimed up that way. But on the initial mission screen, uh, you get a damage bonus for uh, being higher level than the mission. So uh, <clears throat> you also get a damage resistance buff. So these aren't as dangerous as what they would be uh, if I was even on level. Alright, so this one still might prove to be a little more dangerous just because it the type of enemy it is. So I'll probably need to be a little more careful with this one. But maybe not. No. I guess I was wrong. I thought maybe. That's okay. I simply wanted the, uh, simply wanted that system influence, so we'll get through this one quickly. Now, uh, this is the one downside to playing with the controller is if you are not paying attention or even if you are and you slightly tilt this stick off of what you are aiming at you'll notice that she will run off and just go after whatever so you have to be careful and I've just got it set up with the controller right now uh, the way I'm playing right at this particular moment uh, it's just more convenient uh, where I'm recording at right now uh, to not be using the mouse and keyboard as much as I like to uh, I say uh, probably uh, when I record the next footage I'll probably hook up the mouse and keyboard I don't know though depends on the time too um, so we'll see not a big deal either way now I don't know if any of you are familiar with uh, Neocore's other uh, probably the I'm not really familiar with they have done anything else uh, but I first got introduced to their um, stuff from the Van Helsing games they did I really liked them um, the problem with those is uh, they really didn't hold my attention for very long so these uh, the tanks here uh, when you are fighting these at higher levels you really uh, at least if you're playing the assassin have to be careful I'm not sure if there's different types of tanks I do different abilities I just know that there's um that they can really do damage the assassin now I don't know about the um, crusader or the um, psyker I would assume the psyker probably has the same issue alright let's check gear again So we've got a rifle that's plus one quality. So typical. But I didn't really expect much when I was doing now this. Uh, this one I will actually equip for now. Um, 
higher damage, uh, chance for bleeding, um, shock on critical hit. So yeah, I'll take this one, uh, but I do believe I still am going to switch. Uh, um, so this one, uh, this implant, uh, 2.6 damage, survival, uh, shock on vulnerability. Uh, see, we've got, I'm going to go ahead and do it even though something's telling me not to. But I'm going to go ahead. Just because I like to equip gear. So we sold last time. We're going to break down this time. So. Alright. So we're not going to salvage all because I don't want to lose that sword. Alright, so the next video you can look for from me, um, I'm going to stop here. Uh, I'm probably going to do a couple more missions. I'm just not going to not gonna film them right now. Uh, I am going to show you. Uh, I did, uh, while I was gone, uh, I did keep up with the Steam sale. So I noticed that these um, DLC packs were on sale for like a maybe a dollar a dollar fifty i picked them up i didn't think it was a bad deal so um <clears throat> that was a couple other uh things to do but i'll probably do some more of these and i'll keep my eye out for anything interesting um so the next video you see from me, it very well could be a Final Fantasy XIV video. Uh, I can't promise you what type of video that'll be, uh, but I will be doing some of those. That does not mean I'm giving up on the uh, Martyr videos. Uh, those are still going to be coming. Uh, I just plan on doing Final Fantasy XIV uh, but you can uh, look forward to seeing uh, some more footage. And whatever comes out, I'll probably be getting at least one video out in the next day or so. Uh, I'll try to get two. One for Final Fantasy and one for Martyr. Either way, guys, I appreciate you uh, sticking with me. I do apologize for the delays. Uh, any upcoming and uh, keep your eyes peeled because um, I should have some information on uh, streaming coming up uh, once again any suggestions uh, leave me a comment be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons thanks guys I'll see you um, I guess in the future